Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about 24 powerful features for S Pen. So let's start. The first feature is about taking notes on videos. For example, you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video and you want to take notes in the meantime. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes. But you can see this app is blocking the view behind. So what you can do is just select this blue bar, then select this opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity of this note taking app. Now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes. The next thing is you can also do the screen recording of your note taking and the video behind. So just bring down this quick panel and then select screen recorder and then from here select start recording. So after this countdown your screen recording will start. The next thing is if you want to highlight anything important in your video or in your notes you can use this pen tool. So now you can highlight anything important in your screen recording. The next thing is you can also use the front camera option. So here is the the front camera icon so if you select it the front camera is now turned on and now you can do your screen recording once you finish with your screen recording select this stop option from here your screen recording will save in your gallery and later you can access it you can edit it and you can also share it the next feature is about screen of memo. For example, your phone is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen one time like this. It will open the screen of memo and now you can write anything on your screen. The next thing is once you finish, you can select this save option. It will be saved to your Samsung notes or you can pin it to your lock screen. So here is the pin option. If I select it like this, so here you can see it will be pinned to my lock screen. The next feature is about circle to search. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting image and you want more information relevant to that image. So just press and hold this home button, then use your S Pen and then you can circle around that image. So here you can see I will circle around this image and now it will show me more information relevant to that image. So here you can see and now I can use this information. The next thing is you can also use this circle to search feature for text. For example, here I open Samsung Notes and I have this text and I want more information relevant to this text. So I will press and hold this home button, then I will use my S Pen and then I will circle around this text. So here you can see I will circle around till here and now the Google will show me the results relevant to this text. So here you can see it is showing me more information related to this text. The next feature is about adding important text to notes. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save it. So just press this S Pen button and then start selecting the text with your S Pen. So here you can see I will select it till here. Now you can see a menu will appear over here. Select these three dots and here you see this option of add to note. So just select this option. So the same text will be added to your notes. Now you can make it full size and now if you want you can also highlight this text. You can also edit this text. The next thing is the link will also appear on top. So if you press uh, this link it will open the same website. If you want to delete this link just press and hold it like this and here is the delete option. So you can delete it from here. The next feature is about auto format notes. For example, I open my handwritten notes and now I want to auto format these notes. First of all, I will select this keyboard and then from here I will select this new option of notes assist and then I will use my S Pen to select my handwritten notes. So here you can see I can select my handwritten notes till here. Now you can see this option of auto format. So so I will select this auto format and then I will select 
meeting notes so it will convert it into the text and then it will organize it into the headings and bullets so here you can see the final results and it will show me different formats so if i scroll it like this you can see it is showing me in the headings and bullets so you can also select any format from here so here you can see it is showing me different format now you can add it to new notes or you can also copy it so if i want to add it to new note i will select this add to icon and then i will select new notes so it will be added to my new notes and then then from here I can edit it, I can share it. The next feature is about dragging any image from a website to your notes. For example, here I open my Samsung notes and now I want to bring any image from a website to these notes. So I will take out this edge panel and then from here I will select this internet browser and I will open it here in the split screen. Now here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image and now I want this image in my notes so I will use my S Pen I will press and hold it like this it will open this menu and then from here I select this clip subject from background so now it will only select the image part without these labelings now you can use your S Pen and press and hold this image and you can easily drag and drop this image in your notes and now if you want you can also edit it if you want to highlight it you can also highlight this image if if you want to do the labeling you can also use the pen tool the next thing is same way you can also drag any text from a website to your notes so here I open this website and I want this text in my notes I will use my S Pen button and then I will start selecting the text so I will select it till here now again I will use my S Pen I will press and hold this text and I can easily drag and drop it here in my notes and later if you want you can edit edit this text you can highlight this text one more thing I want to mention here is below this video you see this like button if you press it like this it will change its color you can try this experiment the next feature is about bringing whole web page to your notes for example I open Samsung notes and then I will take out this edge panel and then I will open this internet browser in split screen now here you can see I open this website first of all I will select this reader mode option it will open the simplified version of this website without any ads or menus now what I will do here you can see this option of link or whole page I will select this whole page option option now it will start adding this whole website to my notes so here you have to wait for just a few seconds and then I will show you the results so you can see everything is added to my notes so if I scroll down from here you can see all the text is available in my notes and here you can see the same images are also available over here now if you want you can also do all the editing of this website in your notes if you want to write something you can use this pen tool if you want to add or delete pages you can select this page sorter option it will show you all the pages of this website in your notes so from here you can select any page and then if you want you can use all tools in your notes the next feature is about S Pen to text so if you want to search anything instead of typing you can use your S Pen for example here I want to search about brain anatomy so I will use my S Pen I will write here brain anatomy you can see it will convert it into the text and now if I select this search option it will show me the results same way you can also use it for URL for example here I want to open a website so first of all I will select this clear option and now I will use my S Pen so here you can see I will write here samsung.com it will convert it into the text then I will select this go option and then it will open the website for me the next feature is about generative edit for example I open this image now I want this player closer to this ball I will select this pen icon then I will select this generative edit option and now I will use my S Pen I will press and hold on this part and then I can easily move it so here you can see 
I will move it closer to this ball like this and now I will select this option of generate so now it will convert it neatly and then it will show me the final results so you have to wait for a few seconds and then I will show you the final result so here you can see the same person is now move near to this ball if you want to see the original image select this view original option so here is the original image and then this image is after this generative edit. Once you finish, you can select this done option and later you can save it or you can share it. The next feature is about smart select tool. So you can select any specific part of the screen using your S Pen. For example, I want to select this structure. I will open the air command and then from here I open a smart select tool. Now I will use my S Pen and now I will start selecting this structure. So for example, I will select it till here. Now here you can see this structure has been selected. Now if you want, you can also edit it. For example, if you want to write on it, you can also write. If you want to crop it, you can also crop it as well. The next thing is you can also pin it to your screen. So here is the pin option. For example, I select this pin option. Now it is pinned to my screen. Now even if I go out of this website, so here you can see the structure is still available on my screen. If you want, you can also minimize it. So here is the minimize option. So you can make it just like this and the structure is still available. If you want to open it, just select it from here. This image will open. The next feature is about website summarization. For example, I open this website and I want to summarize this whole website. So here you can see this option of browsing assist. You can select this option and then here is the option of summarize. So I will select this summarize option. Now it will summarize this whole website. So here is the final result. You can also select the detailed option. So select this option of summary style and then here you see this option of detail. So I will select this detailed option. Then I will select this done option. Now it will summarize into the detailed format. So here is the detailed format of the same website. Now what you can do is you can copy it. Here is the copy option. It will be copied to your clipboard and now you can use this website summary into your notes. So for example, I open a Samsung notes, then I will take out this edge panel and then I will scroll to the clipboard. So here is this website summary. Now you can use your S Pen, press and hold it like this and then you can easily drag and drop this website summary into your notes and later if you want you can also edit it. The next feature is about air actions. So if I press and hold this S Pen button in the air, it will turn on the camera. So here you can see I press and hold my S Pen button and it will turn on the camera. Now if I want to take the picture, again I will press this S Pen button and it will take the picture for me. The next thing is you can also swipe it to the video mode by doing the air gesture. For example, now I want to swipe to the video mode, I will press this S Pen button and I will do this air gesture. So here you can see it will move to the video mode. Now if I want to go more options, again I will press this S Pen button and I will do this air gesture. It will open the more options. Same way I can go back to the video mode, I can go for the photo mode and I can also go for the portrait mode. So you can also customize these air actions as well. What you have to do, you have to go to the settings. So I will open the settings and once you go in inside the settings you have to scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. So you have to select this option and then from here you select this option of S Pen. Once you go inside S Pen the very first option is about air actions. So you have to select this option and here you can do all the customization for air actions. The next feature is about unlock. You can use your S Pen to unlock your phone. For example, I will lock my S24 Ultra and now I want to unlock it. So what I will do is I will just press this S Pen button two times. So here you can see I will press my S Pen button two times like this. It will unlock my phone and it will also bypass the security. So how to enable this feature? First of all, you have to go to the settings and then you have to scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. So you have to select 
select this option and here you see this option of S Pen. So you have to select S Pen and then inside the S Pen you have to scroll down and here you see this option of more S Pen settings. So you have to select this option and here you see the very first option is about S Pen Unlock. So you have to enable this feature and you also have to follow these instructions. The next feature is about screen write. For example, you are reading a book and you find some interesting information and you want to share that information. So you can use screen write tool. So open the air command and then from here you can use this screen write tool. So it will take the screenshot. Now for example, if you want to write something on it, you can write using your S Pen. If you want to highlight something, you can also do the highlighting. Once you finish with your editing, you can select this share option and then it will show you different platforms. You can use this platform to share your screenshot. The next feature is about translation. So you can use your S Pen for translation as well. For example, here I open this website in Japanese. Now I want to translate it. So I will open the air command and then from here I will open translate tool. Now what I will do, I will just bring my S Pen closer to the text and then it will translate it for me. So here you can see it is showing me the translation. Same way for example if I want to translate this text. So here you can see it will give me the translation. The next thing is you can also translate the whole website with the new browsing assist feature. So what I will do is I will just select this browsing assist tool and then from here I will select this translate option. So once you select this translate option it will translate the whole website. So here you can see it convert this whole website into English. So here you can see everything is translated. Now for example, if you want to open the original website, here is the show original option. I will select this show original option. Now it will show you the website in Japanese. The next feature is about extracting text from an image. For example, here I open this image. Now I want to extract text from this image. So I will select this T icon, then I will use my S Pen and then I will press and hold on this text. And then from here you can use this select all option and then what you can do, you can add it to note or you can copy. For example, I select this copy all, it will be copied to my clipboard. So if I want to access it, I will take out this edge panel and here you can see the same text is available in my clipboard and now I can use it. The next feature is about signing a PDF file. So for example, I want to sign this PDF file. So I will open this file and now for example, I want to sign here. So here is the applicant signature line. I want to sign here. I will select this edit option and now I will use my S Pen and I can easily sign this PDF file. The next feature is about writing on videos. For example, I open this video and now I want to write on it. First of all, I will select this edit option and then from here I will select this emoji icon. Now it will open different tools. I will select this live option and now I can use my S Pen to write anything on my video. Now once you finish with your writing, you can select this done option and now if I play it, so this is how it looks like. So you can edit your videos, you can also share it. The next feature is about writing on calendar. You can use your S Pen to write on your calendar. First of all, open the air command and then from here select write on calendar. Now you can use your S Pen to write anything. For example, I want to write on this date. I can easily write. I can also use different tools. For example, I want to use this highlighter tool. I can also highlight my handwriting. Once you finish, you can select this save option and it will be saved on your calendar. The next feature is about opening of an app by removing the S Pen. For example, here you can see my S Pen is inside S24 Ultra. Now if I remove my S Pen, it will automatically open the Samsung Notes and here I can start taking my notes. So how to enable this feature? First of all, you have to go to the settings and then you have to scroll down and you will see the option of advanced features. So you have to select this option and then from here you have to go inside S Pen. Once you go inside S Pen, here you see this option of when S Pen is removed. So here you can see it is currently set to create note. 
so if you select this option here it will give you three different options you can go for open air command create node or do nothing the next feature is about S Pen customizations. So you can customize your S Pen. First of all, you have to go to the settings. Once you go inside the settings, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. So you have to select this option and here you see this option of S Pen. So you have to select S Pen. So guys, here you can customize all your S Pen settings. So guys, this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.